Hello everyone. Welcome to this week's Oracle and Tarot reading. We're going to be reading for the week of August 21st into the 27th, working with my Oracle deck, the Sovereign Vibrations, and the Muse Tarot deck as well. So let's see, clear, what our guidance is for this week. We're still in that post full moon Aquarius energy. And as I'm tuning in now, it feels like there is a lot, somewhat still up in the air and a lot that we are needing to surrender just to let it settle. Like I'm getting the visual of a snow globe and I'm seeing everything up in the air moving through, yet it's contained. We may feel like we're not contained, that we're just really everywhere right now. Um, or the world, even if we look at it on a collective scale. So allowing ourselves to take some time to rest, take some time to reflect. And I'm hearing digest, really digest what's been brought to the surface or brought into the air through our, maybe our mind's eye. Um, but let's see what cards we get from the Oracle deck this week. Oh, that was too many. I'm being called into this week's channeling around um, resistance and how when we feel resistance, we're being guided into what either is pulling us away from our authenticity or pulling us towards it. And the resistance can be, be there either way. So trusting that we can take some time to be curious about what's really being shown to us or what we're feeling. Interesting. We got the astral traveler. And I think it's funny because this is such an airy card. <laughs> and then on top of the airiness, we get Aries. So literally our identity is being reconstructed I'm hearing wow the affirmation for astral traveler is I'm a cosmic being that can travel the universe to rediscover aspects of my soul's history and the mysteries of source energy so I'm hearing in this way meditation might be a really great thing for you at this time to just go inward and to listen to what your soul your team your intuition is trying to tell you because we're being shifted into our new identity, our new, I'm hearing like portal of reality. Wow. The affirmation for Aries is my identity and ego are in balance with my soul's purpose and creative expression. And to me, there's the Aquarian energy when we go into these new places of the universe, this new place of our soul's remembrance, and thus we create our whole new identity or sense of self when we merge that spiritual cosmic multi-dimensionalness with the human of ourselves wow what other information or oracle cards are meant to work with us this week Ooh. so we get the crystalline upgrade and i feel guided for one more oracle card and then we'll go into the tarot interesting so we got the crystalline upgrade I'm getting used to a new camera setup, guys. There we go. The affirmation is, I release old patterns and outdated constructs that are now ready to be transmuted. I allow crystalline light codes to upgrade my system. So I'm hearing we're getting expanded in our, maybe the way that we even connect to our spirituality and thus our identity. We're seeing what hasn't been working, what has been working. And I'm hearing in this way too, the limiting beliefs around our identity, our character. We're seeing them for what their polarities even are. Everything has that good or bad point of view, that perspective, right? And then funny enough, we get the Libra card. So I kept seeing like this balancing act of even as that snow globe energy is coming in, it's like we get to catch the pieces that are working for us and maybe that we're curious about and we're not so sure if they work for us, but then everything else falls into the earth and gets transformed. 
right? So the Libra affirmation is the relationship to myself and others easily finds balance and divine love. So this way too, I'm hearing there's a karmic rebalancing happening. I'm hearing even too with like the Mercury retrograde or what's going on with Saturn and I'm not an astrologer by any means, but from what I'm feeling into it intuitively, there is this justice coming forward in our identity, in the way that we show in the world, the way that we connect to the universe, right? The way we meditate, the way we go in, like I'm saying, this crystalline upgrade is giving us the availability to other pathways that we didn't even think were a door or were a way to move through. Very exciting. And I'm feeling like this almost like out of breath excitement energy, which is exciting. <laughs> it's clear. But let's see, let's go into any other deeper guidance about the Astral Traveler, the Aries, the Crystalline Upgrade, the Libra. Okay, my current's like not moving. I feel this energy as well of, even as I was shuffling, a card kept kind of holding onto the deck, even though it looked like it was ready to fall. And even as I move my hand, it like stayed stuck. So we may feel stuck in a lot of ways in terms of what's what we want to have come together, even like shifting new ways of showing up. We may feel like, why is it so hard to let go of this pattern? Or why do I easily slip back into it when I know this isn't serving me? But there's a trust that we have to have in this divine orchestration. Wow. So we got the hanged man card, but in reverse. So again, that we're feeling stuck. We're feeling hung up on this little tiny thread, this wire, and the doorway is right there and we can see it and we're being shown it, but it feels like something's just not in alignment yet or we're doing something that's not syncing us up to where we want to be but we got it in reverse. So there is already, you've already made the shift. You've seen the new perspective. It's just trusting that it is gonna move. You are shifting it, right? Sometimes the hardest part is becoming aware of something and that's more than half the battle because when we do that, we step into a higher state of emotional, I'm hearing awareness and also an embodiment of our inner world under the the waters, our true emotional connection to ourself. And that's when we manifest what we really are envisioning or what we're feeling into. It's a baby step of new manifestation. The page of manifestations or materials here is that next anchoring step into the reality of what we're manifesting the vision. And I'm hearing too, there might be people in your surroundings that are challenging this new version of you or that are afraid to let go of the version of who they know of you because then it challenges their version of themselves that also could use some upgrading or that could use some awareness. So if you need to take time for yourself to go inward again to make this shift to also nurture yourself as you're making these big changes even though they may seem very subtle trust that it's okay to also be intuitive with who you have in your circle who you have in your support system because i'm hearing in this way too it's gonna we're still having a clash i'm hearing clash of the titans so the clash of the normality versus the imaginary but really the imaginary is just this huge quantum astral connection in a whole new way. So some people might think you're crazy for what you are moving into in terms of your identity. Maybe you're shifting your work into a whole new career. Maybe you're leaving a relationship that wasn't serving you, but you thought it was going to be the, this forever thing. Oh yeah, we got the devil. We're seeing what our own devil is, or we get it in reverse. So we're releasing our own devil that's been holding us back, even from these upgrades, from these manifestations. 
and I'm hearing in this way too, we got this card last week, mm -hmm. seven of emotions. We've been taking the time to reflect on our emotions, on our desires, seeing what's really bringing our fulfillment or what's not working. Chasing in the direction of our soul's calling. Right? The night of materials. Stepping into that action, that inspired place. <laughs> and I knew the full card was going to come out. So we may even feel really... Can you focus? Focus. <laughs> there we go. We may feel really foolish. Even pretending that we're already in this new identity or embodying this higher aspect of ourselves, this galactic part, but we're, we know it's the pathway, even if the path's not there, like how this desert sand kind of seems to disappear and just turn into the galaxies, we know that that is still the direction of our calling, the direction of our heart, and it was 11.11 right there on the recording. We love a portal synchronicity, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, and I'm hearing too, and I'm getting this feeling of grief. So we it take, t take time to grieve even who you thought you were or who you're moving into, right? Every next chapter, new door is a closed chapter at the same time. We have to allow all of our multidimensionalness, our emotions, our expectations to have some space, have some wiggle room to be, right? Because it's not about just cut and dry, moving forward, done, right? We wish it was sometimes. I know I do. <laughs> Easy peasy, but not so lemon squeezy, even though it's, you know, we don't have to carry all of the weight by ourselves anymore. I'm hearing even in terms of like a generational healing, generational um, trauma healing, or maybe syncing up with people and clearing karmic relationships that had a justice to them, that we've come to fruition through the justice layer and what actually felt like it was holding us back, these old karmic cycles. They were the, our own devils in terms of feeling like we were in loops of karma, loops of pain and suffering. And that's why we have to trust the timing of these things, because especially in terms of the generational collective he healing, hearing, <laughs> oh shit. So there's a timing to all of it. And literally, as I was shuffling the cards, these two cards like flew out and it, I didn't even expect it. And they're two major arcanas. We get the Empress. We're stepping into the Empress energy when we trust the divine timing. And then we get the lovers. We become our own lover. We attract more of our own love, our, not even just the people in our lives, but we love more of what we do. Every day has so much love filled with it because we trust the timing. We trust this new way of identity. We, we again, are in the space of what may seem foolish, but is so Aquarian. It's so cutting edge. It's yet at the same time to our souls, it's so right, it's so natural. And my ears literally just like, you know when you can't hear all of a sudden out of the ear and it goes like a bloop, and it literally did that. And it's, I'm hearing even terms of like a portal energy, we're being sucked through in a way that merges more of our, our human, our biology with the soul of ourselves, with the, the upgraded love that we've been longing for and we're coming out of the shadows, coming out of hiding. And that also takes time, right? It takes the trust of our, um, our biology because we could have a lot of triggers come up when we move in this new direction, when we show up in a way that people have not seen in our identity of what we share and what we project to the world, right? So we can possibly even feel like we regress at times through this energy this week. And maybe that's also a part of the process. I keep seeing the ocean, that ebb and flow, seeing the new perspective, seeing what, again, we thought was holding us back. 
but it's really helping us fall into the perfect alignment with that soul calling with this beautiful galactic aspect of ourselves i'm hearing our sensitivities may be through the roof so take time to, to recharge to heal to nurture yourself heavily on the nurturing ah. anything else we need to know please let me know how this resonates and how you've been feeling through this energetic time that we're in this aquarius full moon yeah, we're being cleansed of what we thought our power was and really being aligned into our actual power. And it's this steadfast trust. And I'm hearing there could also be some past life clearing. I feel like Egyptian energy from this. We've come through a huge cycle, a journey like this. She's come out of the maze behind her that seems very dangerous very treacherous but she's standing stronger in this beautiful orange solar plexus and sacral energy this new energizing sense of confidence and how to create even the root energy of being so grounded in herself she is one with the land one with her heart wow I'm hearing the more that we step into these projects, these places, these states of identity, it's like this clicking into place. It's even like the snow globe energy of things just falling perfectly into this puzzle piece that is our life, this puzzle piece that is... <laughs> wow, we have so much major arcana. It literally fell into my lap. <laughs> we got the magician. And then we get the moon. So we, I'm hearing even too, we become the magicians of how we even connect to our emotions. To me, the, the moon is very much on that emotional energy. Even the dark side of the moon, our shadow, right? So we're, we're wielding our power, our magician energy in a new way that feels so cosmic but yet again so grounded so at peace trusting not fearing anything even when something comes up and triggers us but we're wielding it with more love than ever before with more understanding and grace and trust wow how many major arcana do we have you guys Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And there's only like 12 cards out here. <laughs> Massive things are happening, people. <laughs> and I'm hearing in this way, it can also be, again, there's this feeling of hurry up urgency. I want it to be together. And that could be part of the mind wanting it to look a certain way. So then it's not as up in the air or as foolish looking or abstract so there's more coming in the future for us and i'm hearing the fall this maybe even the next full moon we're going to have this shifting of this justice the shifting of even integrating these crystalline upgrades because things take time to recalibrate take time to make sense of right to put into action to also see the fruits of our labor to hold the frequency long enough that it becomes more normal in our bodies normal in our hearts and thus becomes more into the physical reality but even with that being said i feel like we're all manifesting so fast <laughs> and seeing how powerful we are and seeing how our free will interacts with our surroundings with the universe wow oh i hope this supported you in some way i'm feeling a completion to this there's an energy about i'm hearing even on a collective scale how we are feeling in terms of the connection to justice and balance around love around how we 
treat one another and also how we can respect that everyone has their own way of showing up, their own way of identity. And the more that we can accept that we're all so unique, it can bring us closer together. And I'm hearing that's also what that upgrade can be for us. That we're meant to all be so different and wield our power in such a way that is just for humanity, that is more loving and trusting that we can do it in new ways. I'm hearing the, the Aquarius energy of the intuitive, altruistic innovations. Take that as you will. So I'm hearing maybe too, if you have been, like I'm getting a very clear picture of someone that's working like a nine to five job and feeling like their creativity has to be on the back burner. There's a, a push forward to help you not feel that you have to hide that part of yourself, that you can make more room for it. And there's even new opportunities coming forward for you, for all of us in different ways. So it's even I'm hearing seeing things from new perspectives to trust that there's again a doorway that we haven't seen yet it's just being curious and stepping back and I'm getting I'm seeing like the snow globe energy like stepping back and seeing the pieces that have been shown to us and how they can fall into place maybe in a whole new way even it's the same objects the same materials the same aspects of reality we were always connecting with but it just was from a more limited perspective or a lack of trust in ourselves and in the universe. So as I'm hearing, there's a divine, again, orchestration of how things are falling into place right now. So just be gentle and I'm seeing even like reflect as much as you feel guided to, maybe journal or chat with someone that feels really supportive that can just hold space. Um, yeah, I'm excited such a beautiful time. I hope that this message supported you. Please let me know if anything resonated or um, yeah, just how you guys have been feeling. I'm again, so grateful for all of your patience with me getting back into the swing of things. It's been quite a transformative summer for me. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see even what the rest of this month holds for us because it's already more than halfway through right <laughs> crazy all right i love you all so much i'll see you next week bye